Yes, welcome back to my YouTube channel, Travel with Flex. So today, guys, I'll be talking basically on the cost of living in Austria. How much should be spent for Austria? What are the things you need to put in order? How much you spend on a monthly basis? And you can compare Austria and Nigeria, or comparing Europe with Africa. These are two different, uh, different uh, bug in Italy. So let's get to it. Um, the first thing, uh, please, uh, before we continue, for those that subscribe to my YouTube channel, my old subscriber, thank you for subscribing. And those that have not subscribed, please subscribe and give a thumbs up to the um, video because when you give a thumbs up to the video, the algorithm recommends this particular video to other people that are willing to watch the video. So the first thing we'll be talking about is the house rent in Austria. The house rent in Austria. One of the things that is crazy in Austria is just the house rent. And right now it's even skyrocketing. The house rent in Austria right now is skyrocketing crazy because of the war in Ukraine and most people are living from there, you know, moving to other European countries and stuff like that. So accommodation is very hard to get. So the house rent is skyrocketing. So the fun thing is the house rent. Now living in the shared in Austria can be divided to different categories. You see the shared apartment, you know, you see the student dormitory, they are just they are just too much, they are different. So now for example, if you want a private apartment like just your own apartment, just you alone, the apartment you get um, at, at least put from the range of 420 to yeah, 420 to 500, 600 like that. Yeah, if you want just only your own like just private, only you at least you know barely you see the 420. Yeah, and again, you know, it depends on area. If you are in, if you are living in Vienna, which is the capital, or Salzburg, or Klagenfurt, it depends. The place you are will determine. But if you are in a place like Vienna, it's going to be very cost because you at least you need like four twenty to six seven hundred. It depends, and the size of the house or the apartment determines again. The size of the apartment determines and. Is the house new or old? If it's an old house, it, it will be very cheap. But if it's a new house or when <laughs> you will pay all. So at least in Vienna, like place like Vienna, you have to pay like 420 to 6700 That is for one person. Some you see 500 Yeah. But if you if you want a shared apartment, now it depends. Shared apartment can be with two or three people. You can get from maybe probably Two three hundred that is shared apartment, but if it's with a uh, maybe you're living with somebody, you want to live with somebody, you know, maybe the person just has somebody to partner with in his house or something like that, and get space. Now, that kind of person, I feel like pay up to like that kind of uh, 250. Yeah, you get. And if it's student dormitory, they have to student many dormitory love because you know, most of these schools don't have. Um, hostels, so they make use of also they build a lot of student dormitory because student the pressure is 250 also. You get this at 250, 200, 250. So most so don't, if you have it in mind, you get that 250. Yeah. So and uh, if it's the shared apartment, the apartment I sell there, you get 400, get it um, 500, upward like that, and simple room also. So and some you you have your own personal um, toilet and um, room, but. You have to share the kitchen. And some you have to share the boat, the kitchen, and um, the toilet. I guess that one you have to be two persons. So you be two persons there, you share both the kitchen and the toilet. So it all depends. When you go to most of their websites, you will see the um, things that are needed or things you're going to share. They're going to put it there. It's, everything is inscribed. There are places they will put pets free, some new pets free. This is the time somebody can come in, and this is the time somebody cannot come into your house. But just want to show time. If you have a visitor, let the person leave, and they will tell you if somebody uh, if somebody can sleep over in the house or not. So they have a lot of rules that guys all those things. So basically, that's just the thing. So location and the size of the house determines the price. And again, when you get there, you see reality again. There, there's a reality. There's a difference between what you see or what you see online. Like some of the price, some of them are high. But when you get there, you will see the ones that are very low, and the houses are okay. So. That's just the thing, but you going for the first time, you going for the first time, just you guys just pay the first, you know, the first thing. You know, so, but when you get familiar with the places, then um, I think you pay lesser and maybe you get a lesser place, you are good to go. So now, um, the transportation part, you know, the transportation part is one of the parts that a lot of people need to like. If you get the money, if you just put that for that side so that it will ease the stress of paying monthly or daily or hourly, anyone, because they are for this thing. They have an uh, annual and they have a um, daily, they have 
hourly again. If you have, so if you're paying for um, a, uh, annual, it's 394 euro for annual. So you see it's much cheaper because if you say you should go for, let me say daily, or you want to go for monthly, the cost will be very high. The cost, the cost will be very high if you want to go for monthly or you want to go for daily. So my own best advice is, is for you to go for annual because annual is 394 euro. So if you go, if you pay 394 euro, a place like Vienna now, you can go anywhere within that city, do whatever. You just, you just don't move anyhow. If you like, see, you want to stay for the, the transport, the train, or anywhere, you, you want to stay for one hour. Like, you know, but that just is, so it's, it's much cheaper. And there's this package again for students. It's, 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 that one is semester bonus or something, but it's for students below, below to, from 27 downward. Yeah. Yeah, so that should be between 7 to 18 there about. So once you are uh, a semester, so if you're if you want to collect that or you want to apply for that thing, you have to show your national passport and uh, show that you're a student and stuff like that. Then they will enroll you for that. Um that is 174 euro um, per semester. Yeah. 174 euro per semester. So I think that one will be more better. If if that is if you're a student or so apply for it and you're going thinking I have what to show to clear that you're a student, it's 174 euro per uh yeah per semester. So or is it Half of the year, something like that, sure, but it's much cheaper compared to any other, like the random one. So it all depends on the one you want to go for. Yeah, so that's for the transportation. Now, go through, you know, everybody mouth wide past each other, mouth wide past each other. Some people they spend, some people they spend. So if they go from Nigeria like this now, but I see out of say, just carry one bag, carry clothes, he's all the other, you know, two or three bags, you don't carry journey day. That are food. So that by the time you reach there, when you get there, you're not going to spend a lot in the first two or three months. You, you, you're not going to spend a lot on food, on groceries, all these things. You don't spend a lot. So you'll have get money to, you know, for, check out other things. But at least if monthly you should be able to spend at least maybe you should spend like 120 to 150. It depends on the person they chop reach down. We just they do small small. You know, even spend reach down one. So it's all up to you. That is just the fact about grocery. Then when it comes to shopping, shopping is still the same thing. One change clothes, you want to use one. It's all up to you too. When you buy first, no be oh Lord Shark on I don't see one do your that for there. Except now show off and go show off, you spend your money anyhow. So but but the thing is say if you get the money, if you get the money you won't spend down, spend down more. And it doesn't make no spend. More. But I'm only talking because based on the job how much everybody did now, now on the manager level. But if you know say ah one babolo near a quick d a quick grace, everybody got grace, but you have to cut your quota upon this one But if you have it I want to spend it, spend it, you put, you put, it's good. You can spend your money. Nobody go, oh, you making you spend your money. Nobody go, you making you spend your money. You can spend your money. So it all depends. So you just have to cut your budget, plan it every month. Plan it. Plan it every month. How much are they spend? How much am I spending this month? You calculate everything. What is your income? Because what will you get for there? If you know they pay you up to 2000 1500 maybe 1000 maybe six or 700 So then imagine you won't pay your house rent. You won't set your groceries, you won't save. You know, for people, people for us when they disturb you, you won't cut it from there. All those things, transport. So that's why I say if you get money for transport at the beginning, you better make you do them. So all those kind of things. So if you have the money, do it once and for all to ease stress. Things once and for all to ease stress. So I think these are the basic things you really need to look in respect to this. Then if but if you want to go to the shop for uh you want to go to the shop for uh, restaurants, they enter from here to here. Oh, you, you spend your life out, you spend your life because by the time when you open one kind of food and they tell you are 20, 30, you are 50, you go ah, ah, ah. Okay, I'm not even concerned about the hour. Ah, ah. And if you get if you get if you get your clipper, carry your clipper, join, you do your thing by yourself. But if you don't stand where and get money, if you enter their province or you pay the money, you will request so and if you lead it or lead the zone, maybe everybody should place their air by yourself, they need somebody to do it for them. So they need somebody to do this for them, so you can just Spread the most fine money, put the things together, and they really help you do the air. Or if you give an African friend, if he help you out with your little money, help you out do the stuff. You know that's what's up. So it's all up to you how you want to do it, how you want to do this way, how that way. So it's it. the whole plan is just for you to plan it well and you know look at your account, within the account, and you are good to go. So basically, I think with this, you should be able to give yourself a kind of target, and when you get there again. Things are cheaper. So I said location, that place that are very cheaper compared to the place that are cheaper to what I'm saying right now. Very cheap. So 
Please don't forget to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel and turn on the notification bell. You can check out check out my other videos. I did a lot of videos.